Hi friends, this is my 17th video lecture on Expert Advisor Programming. In this video, I'll be talking about predefined variables that are there in MQL4 programming language um, to help traders use them and um, make good expert advisors. Okay, so. I have made the list of all those predefined variables right here and I'll be um, telling you about those variables uh, right now so the first predefined variable let me remove these comments so you'll see and the first thing I must tell you about um, about predefined variables is that whenever you you will write a predefined variable it will turn its color to pink as you can see and the normal variables whatever I call the normal variable like black it does not change its color okay so that's not a predefined variable so let me tell you about uh, these variables the first one is ask the ask is the variable that contains the current um, selling price okay the current selling price of a currency pair for example here you can see that this currency pair euro US dollar has uh, has an ask price of 1.3423 at at this price this um, particular broker sells you that um, particular currency okay and bid is the price at which the broker buys that currency okay for example if I wanted to sell um, I wanted to open a sell trade of this currency pair the broker is actually buying that currency pair okay so this is the selling price of the broker which the broker is asking um, asking you for and this is the bid price at which the broker um, buys that currency and you place a sell order okay so let me place uh, an order right now to show you what I mean when I double click this and I place a buy order um, okay the price when it placed is the ask price okay so the ask price is where <clears throat> the price at which the broker is selling you that particular pair okay that's enough for bid and ask let's move on now you know what is bid and ask let's uh, let me talk about point the point is the value of a pip for example, uh, in this um, particular um, uh, chart, we have four uh, numbers after the decimal place, like 3419, that is 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers after the decimal place. Then the point value will be 0 0.001. Okay, if there are five numbers of the, after the decimal place, the point value value will be this one so whatever the value this point variable tells you whatever the value of the pip okay next come digits the digits variable returns the number of digits right after the decimal point like in this particular um, currency or this particular chart we have four digits so it will return us four okay if there were uh, five 
and decimal um, numbers after the decimal point then this uh, particular variable will will be returning as 5 okay the number of bars the variable this variable tells us the number of bars which are there on the chart right now for example let me close this let me close this and you start counting the number of these candlesticks so what whatever the number of candlesticks are there on the chart <coughs> how many we can't count them like that one two three four five so this num this variable returns us the number of bars the time variable return returns us the number of time whatever the server time time is this variable will return us for example right now um, right now we have 6 o'clock okay so this particular variable returns us the current time if you write uh, put brackets in it and write some number in it it will return us the particular candles time for example I have written 2 in it so it will return me 0 1 2 this candles time and all it also depends on the time frame which you have selected okay so the next variable is open it this variable returns us the open price of the candle we specify in the uh, square brackets for example I have written uh, one in square brackets so it will return me 0 1 this candles open price okay the close price is the same we write a candle number and it return uh, it returns us the close price of that particular candle the high price works the same it returns us the high price the low price is the same it returns us the low price of the candle we specify <coughs> inside the curly uh, sorry the square brackets and the volume returns us the volume of the candle we specify in the square brackets so that's all for the tutorial and make sure you remember these um, predefined variables because um, we'll be using them um, in our next couple of videos so do practice them do alert these variables to know about them and that's all for the for this programming tutorial thank you for watching